Hello everyone, Patricius Juwantono here. My topic today is how to write a good review of literature. You know that when you are writing a proposal or your research report, a thesis or a dissertation, your chapter two will talk about review of related literature. And a part of that chapter is a review of previous studies. Now I'm going to explain through my video how to create a good a review of previous studies in your chapter two. Okay, let's dive into my presentation. Okay, so this is a topic for today, writing review of related literature. So there are at least three elements that will make up a good review of studies. First is that you have to cite recent publications. So by recent publications, I mean publications which are at least 10 years before, 10 years uh, before the, the writing of your own paper or your own project. Yeah. So after 10 years, basically it is um, too old to be included in your chapter two, in your review of related literature. So 10 years is the, the maximum. Yeah. Of course, if you can obtain um, things or few some um, publications which are newer than 10 years is even better. Yeah, so try to at least um, obtain publications which are new, published within a year or two years, or at the latest is 10 years uh, before you write your own research, uh, before you, you, you write your own paper. Yeah. And second is paraphrase. I'm going to explain later what paraphrase is, but that's also one of the keys to make a good review of literature. And third is you have to attempt to relate whatever you are discussing, uh, whatever you are reviewing to your own topic, to your own research objective. Okay, so I'm going to explain this one by one. The first one, as I said before, is uh, try to paraphrase. Paraphrase means writing someone else's idea in your own words. So when you want to cite something, when you want to cite an author, uh, try to express his or her idea in your own words. Do not copy exactly his or her words. If you do that, then you tend to commit an act of plagiarism. And plagiarism is not good for an academic domain. Yeah? You must uh, avoid that at all costs. One way to avoid plagiarism is to uh, paraphrase, to express somebody else's idea in your own words. So this is what you have to avoid. Do not copy the source. Do not copy word per word. Do not copy verbatim. Verbatim means word per word. Yeah? You have to try to paraphrase it. Okay. Now let me give you an example of paraphrasing. Yeah? Now suppose you come across this source, um, a definition about psychoanalytic theory, and you want to cite this, you want to include this in your paper, in your review of related literature. Yeah? You read this and you want to cite it. Now, you have to paraphrase it. You have to express the same idea, but in your own words, in your own sentence patterns. Yeah? So this is the result. Psychoanalytic theory explains the effect of the unconscious on the way we think, how we feel, and how we behave. It believes that human actions are motivated by an external force. See the bold-faced phrases are phrases that are my phrases, my own words. But uh, by so doing, I maintain or I retain the idea in the text above. Yeah, but so the, uh, in, in essence, I write the same idea about psychoanalytic theory, but I express it in my own words. And those bold-faced words or bold-faced phrases are my own words. Okay, so you must do the same. 
when you want to cite something, you have to express it in your own words while retaining or maintaining the same idea. And that is what a good paraphrase is all about. Okay, so do this from time to time. If necessary, spare some time to exercise paraphrasing. That will be good for your writing for your chapter 2 or for your discussion of previous studies. Okay, um, now the next one, which is important in your review, is you must relate the previous studies to your own research. So whenever you discuss something, a previous study, you must relate it to your own research. You must make an explicit statement which links your own topic to the previous studies that you have been discussing. So just do not leave it like that. You discuss something and then you just leave it like that and you move on to the next uh, study. No, do not do that. Yeah. Try to relate the previous studies to your own topic or to your own research objective. Yeah. So again, this is what you must not do. Do not only discuss someone else's studies. Explain also how they are related to your own topic or to your own research objective. Discuss the similarities or differences. So suppose you come across a study which um, studies the variables that you are also studying. You can discuss the similarities, for example, by saying, my study also uh, will study the same variables. Yeah. But then you also have to discuss how they are different, how they are different, how your study is going to be different from the study that you are reviewing. For example, by saying, but my study is going to be conducted in a different context, in a different setting. The previous study was done in USA, for example, among um, third graders, but your study is going to be done in Indonesia among college students. Yeah, so that is highlighting the difference between your study the variables in your study and the variables in uh, the previous study. Okay, but by this, by doing so, you are relating the previous study to your own project. Okay. Okay, so I take my own article as an example here. My article is entitled "How SAMR-based vocabulary teaching." Teaching Shapes Vocabulary Learning Strategies. Yeah? It was published some time ago. And after the introduction, I presented the literature review. And in the liter literature review, I discussed some previous studies by Kang in 2014, by these persons in 2015, and by these authors in 2017. So these are the previous studies that I discussed. And after I discussed uh, one by one, then I make an explicit relations between uh, their studies and my current study. Here is what I, what I wrote. The current study, the current study here refers to my study, my paper, yeah, my research. Aim to see if these characteristics, now these characteristics refer back to the findings here, to their findings, to the previous studies. Yeah. The current study aimed to see if these characteristics were am amplified by the increasing demand of tasks throughout the SAMR model. Sorry for the typo here, should be SAMR. Yeah. And so uh, by writing this, I have related my topic, yeah, my research, to the previous research that I have discussed here. So that's what I want you to do too. Yeah. Whenever you finish discussing a previous study, try to relate your own topic, your own research objective to the previous studies that you have been discussing. Now that will be good yeah, for your chapter 2, for your review of related literature. So try to relate uh, the previous studies to your own studies. You have to make it explicit. Yeah? Yes, the last one is 
site properly yeah now this is also important so do not do this uh, many students do this in their uh, paper what is the mistake here is that uh, the whole or the entire title was written yeah, and that's not that's that's not necessary in fact that is wrong yeah so when you want to cite an idea from brown you must not do something like this you must not write the entire title of brown's book instead you do this see now there is no mentioning of the of the title here but simply the name of the author the last name and published by the year of the publication and that is uh, a good or a correct citation that's the correct way of citing someone else's work yeah. do not mention the whole title simply the name the last name of the author and the year of the publication and that will be enough okay okay so i hope that helps good luck for your uh, review of related literature and uh, review of previous studies see you again in my next episode